And welcome to this channel. This is a uh, Benny of a uh, Benny TV, and I'm back with another video. I am about to go get sworn in with the recorder of deeds for my notary commission. So, yes, today I'm getting sworn in. Hopefully, it runs smoothly because they said that you can just walk in, and that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to walk in get sworn in and uh and then officially get my certificate for becoming a notary public so i'm excited about that and um i have an hour drive okay and just like magic it is an hour later i am outside of the courthouse you can't really see but over there is the courthouse and now I'm just trying to get collect change for the meter. When was the last time you used a meter? Well, it is official. I am officially uh, a notary. I've been sworn in, and that was a smooth process. Hey, what's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? Welcome to this channel. This is Abeni of Abeni TV, and I already knew that I was not going to be able to do a live stream later on today. On this Friday, I have a very busy schedule today. I am going to be in a commercial. Yes. So, First of all, in this new position of mine, I've been asked to write a business plan on uh, something that I am just like, okay, let me just say this. When I apply for this position, when I interviewed for this position, I didn't know, I, you know, I didn't know what this was going to entail. I just looked and said, hey, let me apply because I need to get out of where I am. So, you know, be careful what you ask for. You just might apply for something and get it, okay? So now, I'm very much challenged and having to do things that I've not uh, done before. And so, uh, most of my job consists of um, electronic health care um, retention of documents, storage. Sounds really exciting, right? But um, it does actually require a lot. And so, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. All right, that's dry. Anyway, oh, I'm looking all rosy and perky. Anyway, I have a commercial. I'm in a, I'm being asked to be exploited. <laughs> I shouldn't call it exploitation, but I kind of feel like I'm being exploited. So I've been asked to be in a commercial for my place of employment. So that is what I'm doing today. That's going to take a while. And then I have a couple of meetings. I'm trying to think of what's some good words of, of inspiration for you. Step out step out of your comfort zone that's what I've done that's what I'm doing I'm stepping out of my comfort zone in as many aspects of my life in 2023 as I possibly can I think I told you that I 
got a personal trainer to hold me accountable so there's no excuses so like she wants me to go to this class tomorrow morning with her I didn't I don't like workout classes I just I don't like them I'm an introvert I don't want to be around other people I don't want to see what they're capable of and I'm not capable of doing I don't want to see that <laughs> but she insisted so I'm gonna go out of my comfort zone and I'm gonna do it you know I can't say that I'm not seeing uh, results of my my working you know and I'm just kind of trying to change a lot of things it's difficult to change a lot of things at once but if you keep a journal document those things and then document your progress document where you need to tweak some things you know so right now I'm trying to focus on self care in many aspects which would include increase of water intake right which would include uh, getting more rest going to bed making a conscious decision up oh, it's nine o'clock I'm going to bed whether I'm sleepy or not, I'm going to bed and I'm going to relax. Um, reducing social media. I put that on the list because I, um, I looked at the calculation of how much time I put into TikTok. Are you kidding me? What a setup. So I had to do away with that. I can't do that. Um, yeah, just in various areas of my life. I am trying to make uh, small improvements that ultimately turn into big improvements over time. One of the things that you can't do is hyper-focus on looking for your progress because you won't find it. It's over time that you look and you say, oh, wait a minute, I remember when this dress didn't fit. Or, you know, I remember when my hair wasn't as bouncy. Yeah, I started taking this hair vitamin. Did I take it this morning? No, no, because I wanted to eat first, but I'm not really eating until 11 o'clock and right now it's 10.30 a.m. So, yeah, my words of encouragement for today is, you know, make 2023 uncomfortable. Get out of your comfort zone. Do some things that you haven't done before. And watch the transitions. So I'll continue to share what my transitions are. And um, I will see you later. Okay? Oh my God. Because uh, I'm always doing something. Hey, what's up everybody? <clears throat> just came from the gym last Friday I went to work usually I work from home I went to work it's a big office but it's a big empty office because most people work from home but the few people that are in there are the ones who have COVID who come in and they just work out anyway I work out. I got workout on the brain. They come in and they work anyway in the office because they figure, eh, nobody's here. I can cough all over the place. So when I went up there, it was like three people coughing. Just, ugh, ugh, ugh. and I was just like, do I need this? Do I need this? I'm, I'm thankful that I can work from home because that, but I had to go in because of that commercial. Well, by yesterday, I woke up with a sore throat and a stopped up nose. And I'm like, I don't need this in my life. I don't need this. So I took a COVID test and I'm negative. But nonetheless, something happened. But um, I'm pushing through. It's... 
in the morning. I just left the gym. So I was there at like around quarter to six when there was barely anybody there. So I need to sweat out whatever is happening. So I take vitamin C, echinacea, blah, blah, blah. But um, yeah, so here I am. And um, that's all I got, folks. Last Friday, yeah, last Friday I couldn't do the video because I was still up there doing that video, uh, making that commercial. And um, that was, I don't want to say it was a hot mess, but it was, that was something. <sighs> so here I am. I hope to do a live stream this coming Friday. But I just figure I better stick a, a video in. So um, today, I just worked on um, arms, you know, to get that all that that fat that accumulates in the back of your arms, you know, all that fat. Before I can even build the muscle, I gotta get this fat off. Like I'm, you know, you, you you're working congruently, you know. But that. You know, you don't ever let that accumulate on your arms, okay? It didn't take long. That's the thing that gets me. It di it didn't take long. Like, I sat at that other job, and I had to sit there. I couldn't move. I had to sit there for long periods of time and without getting up. Like, you don't do that. If you're at a desk job, you have to get up. You have to move. You have to walk. And I used to do that there, but the neighborhood since COVID got so bad that I just didn't feel like getting robbed. I didn't feel like being at gunpoint. And how about, I'm not even exaggerating, okay? So I wasn't in the mood to get go, be at gunpoint. So I just had to stay in there and it was tight quarters. So my office was in tight quarters. So it wasn't really much place for me to walk. So anyway, I'm about to go to Wawa really quickly. Then I'm going home. All right, I'm going to freshen up. It's 7:40 now, and my my work starts at 8:30. So I'm going to go to Wawa, come back. I'm going to take a shower, and I'm going to get to work from home and try to recuperate. And the next time. I go to that job, I am going to be masked up because I wasn't masked up because the office is usually empty. It's usually empty. Anyway, I mean, I'm not, like I said, I don't have COVID, but still, I don't want all of your little nastiness, you know? People have some nastiness out here, <laughs> and I'm not accustomed to it. Oh, gosh. Anyway, it's good to see you, and, you know, this is how I'm living. <laughs> I'll talk to you later, okay? Mm -hmm.